Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, so I'm putting up this uh, video because I want to kind of put a warning out to people. Um, the headlights that's in this Mini Cooper now uh, are a kind of knockoff Chinese or North Korean copy, I guess. Uh, they have an E9 number on them, but they're actually uh, they're a fake or they're a, they're a copy. Uh, obviously, the price of them would would prove that. I think they were like fifty pounds or sixty pounds or something. Um, the 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 correct ones, the European ones, or the correct ones of these are, are somewhere between three and four hundred pounds. Um, so basically, this car is going for its turf. This is the, the uh, a technical check uh, has to be done in Austria um, because it's coming from the UK. And it has to be registered in this country on the, as I say, on the 21st of October. Um, and I've had some chat with some of the U other YouTube guys and WhatsApp group and so on. And basically, the bottom line is is that these lights um, will not go th probably go through an MOT certainly here, um, and possibly not in the UK. There's been a situation where one of the uh, guys that I know uh, has had an issue with them, where the car has failed. So. The biggest problem is, is although the lights look great, the beam and the, the, the brightness of them is, is great, um, there's no real light pattern to them. So when they go to do an MOT and they put them on a headlight tester, there's no, no pattern to the light for, for uh, dip beam and, and main. And it's just a bar of white light, very, very strong. So for like an off-road situation, they'd be great. And they look great with the orange indicator side and all that kind of stuff, but I'm fairly sure they won't pass an MOT. As I said, uh, certainly not here, and I, and I don't think in the UK either. Um, so I spoke to um, a, a couple of the guys who've, who've had them on, but they've had them on after the car was MOT. Uh, one of the guys also had a uh, Land Rover Discovery, which they fit, not fail the MOT because of this problem with the, the, the uh, pattern, there is no pattern on the lights. Um, and I don't want to take a chance, it's taken me for four months to set up a test for this car uh, because of the t uh, time it takes and, the, and the, there's a bit of a queue here in this particular small town we live in in, in Austria. Um, so I need to have it absolutely pass and, and get it through first time. So what my intention is now is to take this, it's not a big job. I put bullet connectors on them so it should be easy enough to turn it back around. I have the brand new uh, left hand drive which were in the car and I'll show you they're here. Um, these were in the car originally, I bought them brand new, I bought them from mini spares, the left hand drive anyway. And they were in the car but I saw somebody showing these and I thought well they look really nice and because the car is kind of customised I thought yeah it'll look good. But obviously the downside is now is that they're certainly not going to pass. Uh, it wasn't until I put them up onto the, um, the garage door that I realised that, that there was no real pattern to them and we can't adjust them. One other person put them on his car and he even had new plastic headlight bowls and found that the adjustment was right on the edge to get them down low enough. Um, so yeah, I mean I just basically put up a warning. So if you want these, the, the, there's a company called uh, YPEC, WePEC, whatever you pronounce it. Why pay? Can they do it? But they are something like three or four or five times more because they are the real deal. These are cop these ones are copied on here. I'm sorry, I'm pointing to this. This is a genuine mini one, uh, but with the side light. But yeah, these are copy ones, and just be careful. I mean, if you're paying fifty or sixty or eighty pounds for these, then you're pretty sure that they're not the genuine Y pack ones. So I just wanted to let you know that. So I'm going to show you how it looks, the light pattern. Let's say they look great and the orange uh, indicator, repeat your indicator on the circle on the outside looks terrific. And I'll show you what they look like from the front and I'll also show you on the door and I'll also show you once I've changed them again.
the uh, got the two rocker covers off. We had a problem with this stud uh, from the uh, camshaft clamp, and it actually um, the nut on the top of the cam. Um, they're a dome nut, and it was kind of hydraulically locked on there, and it had to be taken out with with the cam cover, and we had to just. Take, take it a few turns and lift it, take a few turns and lift it until eventually we've got it out and there it is there. Fortunately the thread is still good and it will go back in and we can retighten it. So obviously uh, with an XK engine uh, this is the exhaust cam and this one obviously is the inlet cam. So what I'll do now is we'll, I'll take the spark plugs out uh, to, so the compression is easy, I can t easily turn it over by hand then I have a special crank spanner for this from the uh, from the crank, shirt, the crank uh, bolt and I can turn it over and actually check each valve um, each clearance and then what I'll do is, is I'll actually make a drawing of all the six on this side and six on the other side put a measurement in there and then when we eventually we have to take these timing these uh, front uh, pulleys off uh, or front gears off. I have to take the camshafts out and then when we lift the buckets out there will be the hardened shins underneath and then we'll have to replace them. I just need to check exactly uh, what they are um, but there is obviously some wear in them or they're, they're slightly out. They're just chattering a bit when the oil is quite hot which you're going to get anyway but I think there's a, a quite a few thou change in some of these so this is a job I'll be getting on with. So um, yeah, that's another, another job that has to be done. So thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, I got something out of it. Um, when I change the uh, lights tomorrow, I'll show part of changing it, only one of them obviously, and I'll show you what the pattern looks like. I will keep um, the pattern that I've put on tonight and show it you know, before and after just to show you the difference. Um, and yeah, as I say, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're watching and either subscribe or uh, make a comment. Uh, just before I finish up, um, on the last video I put up where we were testing the, the Beige Mini, we took it to a friend of ours place who has a truck yard and he let us use his, uh, his facility on a Sunday. Um, I got, I had five thumbs down um, and uh, i just like to say to those people that have put the thumbs down, thanks very much for viewing the video. I do appreciate it. So on that note, stay safe, keep the faith, and enjoy your hobby. Bye for now.